everybody, Derek here from Badgerland Birding. In a different video, we did an unboxing of the Technax Full HD Bird Cam TX165. And so now I'm gonna set it up and see what kind of birds we can see with the camera. So the idea behind it is you set this up, you put your seed in it, there's a little thing for water, and then you turn this camera on and it'll take the pictures of the birds that come to your feeder. So we have a place over here where there are bird feeders. I'm gonna set this up by it so the birds are already kind of used to it. Um, you could set it up at a more re remote location and then maybe get some different species. But it did not come with a micro SD card, so I actually pulled one out of my GoPro that also takes a micro SD. They're very tiny, and it, um, it is in here. So we are gonna put the micro SD in, put the seat in. It came with a bunch of different mounts, but I'm basically just gonna do a basic mount with a, a strap and then tighten it in the back. If you wanna try the different mounts, um, you're welcome to use that as well. So let's um, put the SD in first. I'm gonna open this up by um, opening these clips here and then the camera itself comes out. It goes in the side. There's a little switch that says off on test, so we're gonna turn it to on. That did it. There's a nice color screen on there. Oh, so it actually gives you a preview and then it counts down. So I'm gonna turn it off for now and we'll turn it back on. There we go. Turn it back on when we get to our site. This is the tree I'm gonna put it on. Already has a feeder on it. Um, so hopefully the birds will just kind of jump over. This comes right out once you have the camera out. We're just gonna fill it with seed. Dump it right in. Just all along the side. Doesn't hold uh, that much seed in it. So if you have very hungry birds, you might be filling this quite a bit. But if you do, you can always put it in a more remote area because you have the camera. So we'll show you what's there. There we go. Cool. And then we'll close these clips on the back, and then I think, yeah, once you unclip this in the middle, then the seed comes out. The sides like that fills the reservoir. So let's get this camera in here next. Hit on. It's gonna count down 15 seconds. Okay, now it's secure. And then I think we'll set it up like this. Okay, then we'll also add a little bit of water. A little bit seedy, but that's okay. So it's, it's on, but I don't see it coming on. I'm gonna assume that it's on. I'm not seeing a pic, like I saw the picture for the first 15 seconds. Um, I also didn't change the modes or anything, so we'll see if it's on photo or video mode. And I think we'll just let it sit out there and we'll check on it in 10 minutes, see if there's any birds, and go from there. Oh, you son of a gun. Well, we got our first visitor. Unfortunately, it's a red squirrel. Completely blocking the camera. I don't think you really can see anything, but he's pretty cute though. So we'll uh, we'll just let him chill out, and then when he leaves, hopefully we'll get some birds. He is just loving every second of that. <sighs> That's our first bird. Yes. Pretty stoked. Just had our first bird. Looks like a red-winged blackbird, a uh, female. And so I am going to grab the SD card, just to make sure everything's working correctly. Got the micro SD, I'm gonna put it in this little adapter. You just kind of put it in there like that. And then we will put them in the laptop, see what we get. Okay, that looks pretty good. I um. Did not set the date and time on here, so that's not correct, but you could go in and set that yourself. Then it has Technax on the right. The quality looks pretty good of the images that I'm seeing here. So that's nice. Okay, so this is when I'm filling the water. You can see all that. <laughs> A lot of speculation. 
So it looks like the setting right now, it takes a photo and then a short video. Here's the squirrel. Oh, man. Here's the video. Oh, that's pretty cool. He was very close to the front. <laughs> what a goober. So right now it looks like the setting is set to, um, it takes a photo and then it takes a 10 second video. That's pretty cute though. You can see his little hands. And whiskers. lot of squirrel on here. Oh, I saw a bird. I saw it. Oh, there it is. So it took this picture. Um, definitely a female red winged blackbird, pretty neat. And then this short video. That is very cool. I really like that. So the the thing that I noticed is like the front of the bird, if it's like right in the camera, it's not going to be as clear, but the rest of it is going to be pretty clear. And I think that's just kind of how I mean, it makes sense. If something's too close to the camera, it's not going to get it as clear, but stuff that's a little further away, um, you know, is going to be a little clearer. That's pretty neat, though. Cool, I'm glad it works. Let's go back outside. We'll put it back up, and we'll get some of the other settings. I'm going to leave it out there for until it gets dark, and we'll see what else we get. Okay, we got our SD back in. Let's take a look at some of the other settings on here. Okay, so I put it on test, which is in the middle. Test mode. Now I can mess with the settings. Photo series. Let's look at video resolution. Okay, it's so a different video settings. We'll leave it there. A lot of different stuff you can explore here. Slow motion, audio. Sensitivity, wow, a lot of stuff. Okay, um, I liked the mode it was on, so we'll leave it there. Okay, and we're good to go. Capture something good for us. Let's get this guy down. Let the camera sit out there for a while. It's dark now. Uh, I do think it has a night, kind of like a night recording capability. So I tried jumping up in front of it a couple times just to see if it would take some pictures and what it would look like. So I got the micro SD. I'm going to put it in the adapter here and then we will see if we got any birds on it. One thing I did notice when I took it down is the water dish when the squirrel was on there kind of like got some water on the seeds and so the seeds were kind of clumps which I could see if you're not changing that out too often it could get some like mold or something on it but you also don't have to fill the water little water dish in the front if you don't want to okay so we got more female red wings so this is the video oh that's pretty cool That's really cool. I like that a lot. I wonder if we got any other species. Oh, I saw a morning dove. Aww. I did not stay there that long. It looked a little freaked out. Ugh. <laughs> You can see it shifted a little bit because I don't have it mounted very well. Some more Red Wing. I actually really like that you can hear the sounds of the birds moving. Look at how shiny those legs are. That's pretty crazy looking. That's a funny picture. Aw, house finch. That's neat. That was a good one. I like that one a lot. Let's watch that one again. Nice. That was cool. 
So three species. Oh, we got the downy woodpecker. That's a nice shot. Look at him. Just came in and stole a peanut and left. That was adorable. Let's watch that again. Aww. That one, that one turned out really clear. This captured like way more than I thought it was gonna. We got more female red wing. Oh, another dash out of that downy. That's so funny. It, it was, even though the birds are quick, it was able to capture them pretty well. So I think because it got triggered so quickly by the photo, then the video is like, there's nothing there. That's a goofy, goofy little shot. It's pretty neat what this is able to capture. Let's see what else we got. So this is the night mode. We didn't get any birds at night, but you got me time to test it out. So you might get some mammals or something. There, this is when I have my flashlight. You can see it. Overall, the Technax TX165 Full HD Bird Cam was successfully able to capture photos and videos of backyard birds. Some possible downsides are that it doesn't hold a large amount of seeds in the reservoir and may be prone to use and chewing from squirrels, depending on how and where you mount it. On the plus side, it was easy to set up, fun to use, and allowed us to view birds in a unique way. If you're interested in getting close-up looks at the birds in your neighborhood, I would highly recommend it. If you'd like to purchase the TX165, please consider using our Amazon affiliate link in the description. That way we also make a percentage of the sale at no extra cost. It's also worth noting that we're not sponsored by Technax or Amazon, we're just giving our thoughts on the product. Thanks so much for watching, we'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Oh, there's our turkey. Sorry, turkey.